Hey, Benjamin Peng here, coming to you from Manhattan, New York, uh, founder of BenjaminPeng.com. Over here, I teach you how to use social media to grow your home-based business or network marketing business, whatever you want to call it. So today, I want to talk about the biggest, um, uh, you know, controver controversial, controversial topic uh, in, in building network marketing, which is, hey, you know, too many meetings. Too many meetings, you know, it's not working out for me. It's affecting my my you know my life, uh, my fa my relationship with my family. I quit, right? I quit. You know, it's not for me. So before you quit, all right, um, you know, I'm gonna share with you what you what you want to try, what you want to do, before you actually decide that this industry is not for you. Okay. So number one, uh, actually before before I start. Uh, you know, drop a comment below. Uh, you know, tell me where you're coming from and who you are, so that I can give you a shout out. Um, so, if you're thinking about quitting, right? If you're thinking about quitting and you know, too many meetings, uh, you know, coming out every single night is a waste of time. So, number one is that uh, think about why. All right, think about why you started network marketing business, right? Um, and you know, most of the time we are in network marketing to get time freedom or to get financial freedom, right? So, you know, no matter what you do, you have to, no matter what kind of business you run, right? If you agree with me, drop a one below, uh, you need to put time in, right? It doesn't matter what you do, you have to put time in, right? You have to put time into running a restaurant, you have to be there sometime, uh, you have to talk to the supplier, so you have to put time into building your business, okay? That's first, that's number one. Second is what do you want to do with the time, right? Um, and how much time are you willing to invest, okay? So, you know, let's not talk about what we're going to do with the time. How much time, right? How much time are you going to invest, right? It's up to you, right? Because it's your business. Um, in, in network marketing, uh, nobody, uh, you know, is going to hold your hands. Uh, even though you know, up, up, your upline is probably going to be very gung-ho sometimes to, to say, you know, yeah, come out, you know, put in, uh, why are you not coming out, put, you know, why are you not going to the training, uh, you know, why are you not coming out to this and that, um, but bottom line is, it's your business, right, it's your business, and no matter what other people tell you, you have to just, you know, ignore them sometimes, right, because, you know, not every upline is perfect, Right, uh, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't the best upline. My upline wasn't the best upline, right? But you know, you have to think. Uh, you know, what's the best for yourself? So, how much time? So, if it's three hours a week, right, including traveling, um, so be it, right? Three hours a week, right? Uh, if it's four hours, then set set a four hour four hour time frame in building your business. Okay. So, number three is, you know, determine what produced the most result in your business, right? Because there's an 80-20 rule in, in, in you know, every business. So what is that 20% of the task that you're going to do, which will produce the 80% of the result, all right? And if you, th if you are traveling, spending an hour traveling to the meeting and an hour back, two hours, what are you going to do with the two hours let's say traveling or on the car, can you make use of it, okay? So if you cannot, and you're wasting that two hours, hey, probably it's not wise to travel two hours to a meeting, okay? Hey, Nicole, how's it going? Um, so number three, you really have to think about what is that 20% uh, that will produce 80% of your productivity, okay? Um, and write it down, right? Discuss with your upline saying that, you know, traveling and, uh, you know, twice a week to attend a meeting is not feasible because you're wasting all this time. Um, but then you have to think of a solution, right? Any business, you got to think of, you know, when, you, when you're having obstacles, right? I'll be real with you, right? Because I work in the financial industry. Uh, I work 12, 10, 12 hours a day. Right, uh, this is, you know I'm still in the office and I'm doing Facebook Live, so I have many excuses not to do what I need to do in my business. But uh, 
you know, being in the financial industry, you know, I work in the IT. I, I'm actually a programmer, so you know, I face the computer all day long. Uh, and after work, you know, when when I'm gonna put my time towards my business? Okay, so you first of all, because the the first thing is think about why you started a business is because. Uh, you need to have your why, right? It, you know, building a business is not going to be easy, especially you're changing your daily routine. So you need to have that why, that vision of where you want to go, right? And that will push you forward, you know, whenever you say, oh, I'm tired after work, uh, you know, I just don't feel like doing it. But then you think about your family, you want to spend more time with them. And then your business now is worth it, right? It's worth it to put time in because you want the, you know, what you can get out of the business, which is financial freedom or time freedom, okay? So number three, think about what you can do to get the most result. And, uh, you know, I have to tell you, you know, you know straight to you, very honest, uh, when you start seeing potential in the business, you automatically put t more time in, right? If you see that, oh, wow, you know, somebody start before you making uh, start after you making so much more money than you, you probably get irritated, okay? And you will be like, okay, I'm, I've been being lazy and I'm gonna, instead of four hours, now I'm gonna put six hours or eight hours, okay? And this is what you should expect, okay? What you should expect is, you know, you start, you're gonna gradually put more time in into your business, okay? And just ask yourself this question, if you are making a six-figure income, okay, if you're not making a six-figure income in your full-time job, ask yourself how much time are you putting in to that, you know, to that nine to five to make a five-figure, okay? So now you have to step, you know, kind of step up the game a little bit, right? And kind of improve your mindset, step out of your comfort zone. You know, if you want to make a six-figure income or at least just an ongoing five-figure income, from your network marketing business, hey, I'm not gonna tell you to spend another nine out, uh, um, uh, nine eight hours in your network marketing business per day, right? But I'm telling you, at least have put more time in so that you you will see that your your business is gonna grow faster, okay? Because there's a fact that if you grow faster. It's easier because you see the momentum, you see the result. Uh, people are excited, right? You know, people are more excited if they see, oh wow, you know, they just started, and uh, the next week there's another partner below them, you know, started uh, because the upline just recruited somebody new, right? If you're in a binomial system, of course. But the the momentum, the the you know, fast growing, uh, uh, it's gonna increase your your team morale, right? So. You know, that's, that's the bottom line, okay? That's the bottom line. You're gonna increase your time that you put into your business because, uh, you know, any business, you know, it doesn't just, it doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense to make a five-figure ongoing income if you uh, just put in four hours a week to your business, okay? It's gonna take you a lot of time, uh, maybe like five, 10 years to build up that income, but during the time, you know, being, growing slowly, it's gonna, it's gonna to be a torture to you, okay? All right, so uh, th three things, okay? Let me repeat. Uh, first thing is think about why you started your business. Second, uh, think about how much time you're willing to put in your business at the beginning, okay? No matter how much your upline is gonna push you to do, just think about what's feasible to yourself, okay? Number three is think about what's that 20% uh, uh, that will produce the 80% of the result and focus on it and focus on it okay so this is my tip today and uh, hopefully you got value out of it and if you do feel free to share with your team and your your leader <laughs> uh, you know if they have been like you know kind of pushing you to to put more hours put more hours in but it's really about communication right if, if you cannot if my my people if my team cannot you know, devote their time like 10 hours a week into the business, I'm not gonna push them, right? Because they haven't seen the light yet, right? But you know, my, but my duty is basically keep them on track and make sure they see the light, go into the convention and see that, you know, they can actually achieve more in their business, okay? So, you know, hopefully you're gonna do the same, bring people to see the light at, 
you know, at the bigger event. Okay. So, um, you know, that's it for me today. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, drop a comment below. Uh, nothing to promote today. Uh, but if you have any questions, do private mes message me so that you can get a hold, a hold on me. Okay. All right. Have a good day. I will see you in the next training.